but that's what that's why I saved the silver up because when they offer those uh, discounts on equipment, I go ape shit and use up all of my silver. Or uh, the other thing is, is whenever they offer the the discounts for like certain lines, like right now they're doing the the mouse line, I'll go through and I'll buy back tanks that I've already had, uh, just because I have the spaces now. I, I sold a lot of tanks a while back to where I had like, like somewhere around almost 50. I, think I had like 46 open slots in the garage, and I was like, man, I probably should fill those up. <laughs> so, I'm going back and buying back ones that I liked, or that uh, fit a, a niche, like they're the only medium tank at that tier for that nation. Um, a while back I was, I was doing stuff where I wanted to keep a, a tank class uh, for the lower the lower tiers so that if I played them then I'd be able to like if I was playing with someone who was playing them then I'd have tanks to play with them but since they took away like the bottom tiers like one and two I just have tier one and two tanks now that were from that and now I'm going back and getting all the Ooh, trying to get the tier threes wow I'm surprised I bounced that off my ass that's cool behind this cover Him under the train. Doesn't look like it. Holy shit! Oh, I don't want to. Whatever's shooting from back there, I don't want to put myself out here too far. I do want to remove that light tank off the board. Oh, I might be able to hit him under the... under the train. Yes, I can! Hee hee! Did he hit me under the train? He just, looks like he's too close. Whoa! That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Another Karo. And we got a TD back here. Did he just get taken out? I think he did. Oh, that other TD... Get into a spot where I can see him. Oh, uh, uh. Okay, was that cheap? You guys let me know. Was that cheap? I don't feel like that was cheap. I feel like that was completely a, a legit fucking shot. Just because I know how shitty this tank is at backing up and turning around and shit. See if I can get around behind him and get some boops. Sweet! How long did it take you to get to affiliate? Uh, so, I originally started streaming... I think... And maybe 2015. And it, I, I don't, I can't remember from back then. Like, I took huge gaps of time where I stopped streaming. Like, I, I had, so I, I streamed kind of, when I first started, I streamed a lot. Like, almost on a daily basis sometimes for, like, two years. 
I think it was two years. It might have been like a year and a half. And then I I kind of had a situation where I gave up on it because I started going to school for somewhere near a year. I think it might have been a year, maybe over a year. Somewhere around that time period. And then I started back up again. And uh, when you stop streaming, it's really hard to get back into it. It's just like working out. If you are a person who works out like every day and then you like miss a couple days like say a week it's really hard to get back into the fucking practice of working out again I don't know if anyone else has had that problem uh, and then it turns into two weeks and then three weeks and then you know three months later you're like man why did I stop working out and uh yeah so it's it's a similar situation but I don't think I made affiliate until I think like maybe 2018. But like I said, I, I was real splotchy and uh, the affiliate rules back then were really different. Whenever uh, they changed the affiliate rules around, I got it within a, I, th I think like a month or so or something like that. And that was just from constantly streaming. I did 24-hour streams, which I wouldn't recommend. But you do get a lot for doing specialty streams and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, being a part of the community helped. Uh, I, I met a lot of, you know, like uh, CCs and CAs. And uh, kind of... They getting a chance to uh, like stream with other streamers. I, I know I'm I'm not being a good advocate of that right now, but uh, doing stuff like that draws attention to you, and uh, being active in other people's streams, not even streaming, but like you're doing now, where you're talking and everything in the chat, it gives people a chance to see you and know that you're also a streamer or at least check you out like I mean I'd, I'd advocate anyone checking you out now since you are asking about it and everything but the requirements for it, uh, it if I can remember right a lot of the, the requirements of it are like streaming for certain hours um, a certain amount of hours having a certain amount of uh, average viewership or like concurrent viewership and having a set amount of days that you stream or, or and stuff like that, having a certain amount of followers. I can't remember. But it's all about... Uh, it, it takes... In my situation, so I'm, I'm retired. I don't have to work. Uh, uh, also, my, my wife... Uh, it's really weird to say this. My wife's an influencer now. So I don't... Like, she makes more money than I ever would. And because of that, I have the ability to play whenever I want, and it really helps having that ability to... Like, if I wanted to, I could stream every day. I don't anymore, but <laughs> a lot of that is just because, uh, like I said before, streaming on a daily basis, you'll hear it from just about anybody who, who does it, it takes one hell of a toll on you. It's just like people who make uh, constant YouTube videos. It takes a toll. You start to uh, like disconnect from reality in a way. <laughs>